talk uh, but before i do that i'm tempted to say two things and uh, one is on behalf of the foundation the fraternity of architects and engineers and i'm one of uh, the engineers here and all of us uh, goans i would like to thank padma vibhushan uh, charles goya for sharing his treasure his works in the archives for us so a big round of applause for him yes, thank you very much. Uh, having said that, uh, we just saw the building, and uh, I was privileged rather to be there for its inauguration. And before we start this discussion, I would like to share, uh, as I'm not an architect, I don't know the jargon what uh, one talks about architecture. But uh, when when I went in there and when I saw it, um, it's an experience. each one of us as architects or professionals or even as uh, human beings need to have because the building is extremely simple it's serene and when in europe uh, there is uh, a cacophony or uh, zaha hadid's buildings are shouting or say calatrava's buildings are uh, exciting people uh, what they miss i i believe in my opinion uh, that those building i mean what i feel this building has and the others don't is this building has a soul and uh, that soul really captivates you as you go into the building it's absolutely uh, sublime it's divine uh, it's intriguing and once you get into the building and you explore the spaces uh, what brings about to me because as i said i'm not an architect and i wouldn't know what it's all about it brings a smile on your face and that's greatest therapy and i really think that uh, this is charles is one of the finest works so charles a great work and congratulations uh, having said that uh, i'm here to anchor the talk for the evening and it's about the foundation and the work the foundation is doing i would like to ask charles to begin with uh, as to uh, what was his thought and starting this foundation and getting us where we are well um um i should say that um um uh, first of all i want to thank everybody and you know, including starting with cinema's dempo for what you said but much more than that if it wasn't for his help this foundation would never have happened i really think you should clap for what he did put their hands together it's it's his, it's his generosity incredible because actually i didn't even know him i think uh, but of course i knew he was and i knew he had done this wonderful thing of of getting rid of all the mining areas he knew, <laughs> he owned because your name came up several times when we were doing the regional plan but uh, anyway thank you really it makes it it's it's really important that that um, you know when you for young architects in this room too you need you need someone with faith and that's what amdabad had in the 60s you know and you got very good architecture done there and uh, it's it's the client is as important as the architect or say in the case of shampalimo these people really like the idea they backed it but anyway we're going to really try and talk about the foundation i think in our discussion and i think all of you people are in, involved in the work and arminio's running it as director the, my idea was very simple i felt that um, in the old days you had a you had a, a very easy way for for signals to go from top down and from I think from bottom up. For instance, I, my guess is that these great, uh, you know, in the old days we had a um, um, what do they call the like Mizrahi smile and a divan, and he worked with the Maharaja or the or the Nawab, and uh, it was a permanent relationship. It lasted thirty, forty years. Great trust, belief, and we exchanged them with independence. We exchanged them for a chief minister and a chief secretary. It's not the same thing. First of all, the chief minister has to be re-elected, so he's not really got that kind of long-term range. But the chief secretary is too often a bureaucrat. He doesn't begin to have the imagination, the understanding of Vishwasharaya or Mirza Ismail, etc. But I think that there's something more than that. Once this thinking is established, it means that anybody with an idea who has access to somebody who knows somebody who knows Mirza Ismail, this idea can travel up. I think so, and so many good ideas get implemented. So that was the idea of the foundation, because I feel 
India is full of problems and full of people with real ideas about those problems. But to get and go especially, in fact, they took, there's many more solutions than there are problems here. Everyone has an angle on it and quite rightly so. But what you need to get your idea listened to is that, first of all, there should be a line to the person who is actually going to make that decision. And in a small place like Goa, actually, they can make that connection. And the other thing, of course, is that you need a certain amount of support structure to incubate that idea. You cannot go straight to the to whoever it is, the municipality or the government or to somebody, private person, and say, do this, and it's all words. You must have some calculations, you must have some, perhaps, drawing, whatever you need, I don't know, it depends on the idea. And that should be, that's what the foundation is hopefully supplying. In the case of all the things I tried to do, some of which you saw, I used to use my own office because no one's going to pay you to do uh, spotter housing or something. And anyway, you can't wait that long. Even New Bombay, Shiresh and Praveen and myself, we just developed the drawings in our office and we worked free for the government. But the main thing is to try and get something through. So in this case, actually, uh, anybody living here in Goa, out there in Goa, uh, it doesn't have to be an architect or an engineer. It can be, I think, uh, what's her name? Uh, Patricia Pinto is running one of the projects. It's, it's garbage collection. And uh, the main thing is that you can come with that idea. And uh, there are fellowships in the, in, the, in the foundation, young students. And they will form a team with you. And then you can try. And then, if, of course, it has to go through the executive committee who will decide whether I mean whether they should back this idea or not, but that is the idea of the whole foundation. It's got nothing to do with necessarily with architecture, particularly. It's in fact the second project they did was the pedestrianisation of the of the centre of Anjim, which I think Sanjit knows much more than I do about. It. Uh, what I would like to ask is. Uh, is Arvind, you, you can uh, just let us know. Uh, is it essentially that we're talking about architectural solutions, or uh, in the foundation, or we're looking at any ideas that come forth? Uh, what is our focus, and uh, can you share that with us? Hello, uh, we are looking at a number of uh, things. It's not just architectural solutions, like for example, the garbage collection, the garbage solution to garbage management is non-architectural. All right, but it's uh, involving sitting together, finding resource people who know about the subject, sitting together, finding solutions, talking to the people. So it, it involves a whole a lot of people who over a period of time will develop into our uh, think tank and will be a support framework for the foundation. So what you're uh, essentially saying is that uh, there are diverse ideas can come into the foundation and we can nurture them and then take it forth. For example, the maps that you're doing for the uh, for the tourists or along with the CCP, can you share something with us on this matter too? Yes, uh, the map started with, uh, with the fact that we noticed that there wasn't a single uh, map for Panjim that would contain information for uh, for a person wanting to learn about Panjim. We have maps for tourists, we've got maps showing all the restaurants, pubs, but if somebody wants to learn a little bit about Panjim, understand the Panjim's heritage, understand, do walks through Panjim, discover Panjim through the process, started with that. It uh, went on with us trying to uh, see how we can then further um, expand the map and a solution that came up was uh, suggested by uh, Pankaj Joshi, who was uh, by my side, and he was suggesting, he suggested that the map could then uh, be uh, loaded on a GIS uh, framework in which the people then after us can start all participating in the map, in populating the map by putting information for uh, for all kind of things. It could be a map that could be used by the city to manage its own services, its own um, the problems. And and uh, this was uh, the, the, the thing that came up. Uh, in fact, I think what I would very much like is to Pankaj to explain this a little bit better because he's really uh, uh, yes, worked uh, out of Sure, sure. We'll do that. But before that, uh, our uh, Sanjit, who has been, whom you have worked, the foundation has been working with on various projects, such as to begin with, we had the uh, uh, decongestion of the city of Panjim, which we worked very closely with CCP and Sanjit. Uh, Sanjit also uh, um, asked us to work 
on a certain other issues such as garbage, how to track various garbage,